With the number of air gunners always increasing every day, I figure it's about time for the Air Gun Advisor to give you my top 10 tips for those who are new to air guns. Welcome back to the Air Gun Advisor. And before we get going on with these top 10 tips for new air gunners, I wanna say thank you to each and every one of my subscribers out there. You have helped my numbers climb up to 596 at the making of this video. If you have not subscribed yet, please make sure you do so. That means an awful lot to me. So without further ado though, let's go ahead and get going on these top 10 tips for new air gunners. Number 10. Join a club or shoot with a group of friends. There is nothing more enjoyable than learning from the experience of others and not to mention the opportunity to shoot a variety of air guns that your friends or club members have. It's just a great opportunity and if there is no club or no group, try starting one for yourself. You'll be surprised at how many air gunners come out of the woodwork. Number nine, find free targets. Every year here in the United States of America, we have the privilege of being able to vote. And with voting come political signs. And those political signs at the end of the election season get thrown in the trash. Well, don't throw them in the trash. Recycle them. Take them down to your range. Collect them on the side of the roads if you have to. Get a stack of them. Slap some stickers on there. And they are the perfect target for you at the air gun range. Number eight. Stick to one caliber. Guys, I know that you're gonna to wanna to try a 25 caliber, a 22, 177, and maybe even some of the big bores. But when you first get into the hobby, stick with one caliber because you know, in order to find that perfect pellet, you're gonna to have to buy a lot of pellets. And if you stick with one caliber, that means you have your sample size ready to go each and every time you get to the range and each and every time you have a new air gun. Number seven, buy wisely. Do not pay attention to all the markings on those air gun boxes from the big box stores that advertise 1,000 feet per second, 1,200 feet per second. Who cares? The air gun sport is about accuracy. And at 1,000 feet per second, 1,200 feet per second, you may not be accurate, not to mention the manufacturers are using the lightest pellets possible to inflate those numbers. And don't be afraid to buy used. Guys, the used market for air guns is strong and there is so many great opportunities to buy quality air guns at a discounted price. Just make sure you do so carefully if you're buying online from one of the forums. Number six. Guys, you've heard this from your teachers growing up. Read. There is so much literature out there, whether it's in the form of going online and reading about the forums or blog posts, or even here in the United States, we have our own air gun magazines. This one happens to be Air Gun Hobbyist. It comes out quarterly. Subscribe. Also check out Hard Air Magazine. This one uh, is a book by Stephen Archer. All right, this one's about the gauntlet, but it's produced by Hard Air Magazine, which is an online periodical with articles that come out weekly. So go check them out online. Also visit your bookstore. You might be surprised at all the European magazines that come in that cover air guns. Number five get good tools. I've been talking to all of my friends in the air gun world and they say the number one thing that they don't like about buying used air guns is when someone boogers up the screws using Craftsman or big box hardware store type screwdrivers. Get a good set of hollow ground screwdrivers and use them on your air guns whenever you perform maintenance. Number four, take good care of your air guns guys. Every time you use them, especially some of the nice blued air guns, wipe them down with some REM oil or CLP. Those fingerprints that you put all over the bluing eventually turn to rust. Get those, get those fingerprints off of there, wipe them down, takes 30 seconds each and every time you bring your air guns out to shoot. Also, if you're losing accuracy, you might need to clean that barrel. It is true that air guns don't need the kind of maintenance that a, a typical firearm might need, but barrels do get dirty and the best tool that i found for that is the patchworm and those are available online and available in different calibers as well so make sure you order the right caliber for your air rifle number three buy good glass and what am i talking about by glass i'm talking about scopes 
if you want accuracy, you're going to need good glass. Now, what's a, this isn't a hard and fast rule, but think of purchasing a scope that's about one third of the cost of the air gun that you're shooting with. So if you purchase a $300 air rifle, you're gonna be looking in the $100 range for a scope. If you are purchasing a $1,000 air rifle, you're looking at the $300 to $400 range scope and higher. So buy good glass, buy the best glass that you can afford and you will be surprised at how much uh, enjoyment that scope can bring to your shooting. Number two, find exciting targets, guys. These could be things like eggs, paintballs, we set those up on tees out at 50 yards. The eggs explode, wafer cookies, and don't be afraid to invest in some high quality targets either. You can see that my collection is quite extensive and those have been some of my best purchases because I can use those targets over and over and over again. And when my friends come over and I'm trying these different air guns, it's just a lot of fun to do. Which brings me to my number one tip for new air gunners. And this is where I'm relying on you, the viewers. Not all of you watching this video are new to air guns. So what's your number one tip? I've given you some good ones, but I'd like you to list those in the comments below and help other air gunners out. Give them some tips, some advice, whatever you think is necessary. Let them know how to enjoy this sport and this hobby more than any other hobby that they're into. Guys, I wanna thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate all the subscriptions and all of your remarks. And until next time, make sure that your trigger pull stays smooth and those pellets fly straight. And we'll see you right here on the Air Gun Advisor. Hey guys, I got some exciting stuff coming up. We're gonna be hitting up some air gun shows. We're gonna be going to some field target events. We're also gonna be testing some air guns. So if you like this kind of content, you wanna see more, let me know. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know you like what you see. So until next time, may your pellets fly straight and your trigger pull stay smooth. And we'll see you right here on the Air Gun Advisor.